We stopped in at one of our favorite Salvation Armies after dinner, and we only had a half hour before they closed. I saw this plate, and I thought it was beautifully painted, um, but I believe that it was a mass-produced import, and I felt that it would easily chip. I was looking at this floral arrangement thing. Um, I believe it was made of wood, but it did have some damage on it, so I decided to leave it. I thought these, I believe they're champagne glasses, were absolutely beautiful. I think that they're vintage, um, but I just didn't know what to do with them, and they wanted $4 a piece. And Although other thrifters have said uh, that they've asked the people if they could bundle, I've asked this store if they would bundle and they won't do it. I thought these little glasses were so beautiful, but I did find that dark blue glass and it had this beautiful white winter scene on it and I just fell in love with it. So that did come home with us and we did sell it. We saw these um, Uncle Sam and American flag glasses and we just thought they were so cool. They're I think mid-century modern and they are just so fun. So and I don't I think that the the Uncle Sam one is rare to find. My husband can find a moose anywhere.
I thought this luster wear is so pretty and I always pick it up. I just think it's it's so beautiful, but it doesn't sell for me for some reason. I don't I don't understand it. This is a false graph pattern, uh, and it's so beautiful. I look at it all the time. Um, I did sell a butter tub, uh, but it took forever to sell it. I don't. I think that people um, are not interested in it, but I. I just think that it's so beautiful. We thought this was such a beautiful little dish. Um, we didn't end up picking it up, uh, and I, I, I'm not quite sure why, it, it, except that I have so many dishes, and I, I didn't think that this would sell uh, necessarily. There's, it, it, there just may not be that much of a market for it, but I, I thought it was beautiful. I'm still waiting for somebody to tell me why they put the sticker right over the mark. I don't understand it. I believe this is a crumb dish, um, so waiters would um, put that next to your, your table and sweep off the crumbs, but I think it was missing a piece. This was interesting. It, it's a taco assembler thing. So the top dish is for salsas. The two dishes on either side are to put set your taco on. 
and then the um, the center thing is for the uh, tortilla warmer. My husband thought these leaf uh, wax uh, pieces were interesting and um, because we just recently had purchased a wax warmer we decided to pick that up. I thought this violinist on a marble block was so interesting. It's modern art and I just thought it was really cool and it it's currently in my eBay store.
Oh, I was so excited to find this. This is Franciscan and it's an interpace, I believe it's called, and it is so beautiful. There's absolutely no damage to it and you can see the little spider uh, marks from where they glaze it. Uh, they stand it up to glaze it and it, it was just so cool. I found these two beautiful bowls. I just fell in love with them. They are so beautiful and very, very heavy. Uh, I think they're either Anchor Hawking or Indiana Glass, perhaps, but they are so beautiful. And I just didn't pick them up because I have no space for them and they were very very heavy so shipping would be co costly This is a little bit of a cautionary tale. It is beautiful. Uh, it was signed and it had minor flea bites on the very edge that we didn't see because it had wax on it. Uh, so we ended up buying it, but um, had I seen the little flea bites, I would not have purchased it.
we saw this uh, Puerto Vallarta Talavera uh, style plate and we thought that it was so great because when we went to Puerto Vallarta a while ago we did not pick up a souvenir so we thought let's just pick it up now and it's depicting a beautiful cathedral that we walked inside of and took pictures of and we were just really happy to find it and we saw this beautiful painting of Grand Canary Islands um, it is just gorgeous and it was done in oil and we did purchase that because I love it we saw this one too and it was so beautiful but this one was a, a print so we didn't get it While Jay was looking things up on eBay and Google Lens, I found this and it is beautiful. I went and I made sure to check uh, to make sure that it lit up and it lit up perfectly. It, it was just breathtaking. So I did purchase that. Then Mr. Nifty looked up the comparables and we couldn't believe it. I will be on the lookout for a second one because they are just so breathtakingly beautiful. Hi everybody. We went shopping and we found some awesome, awesome treasures. So I'm going to start with, oh, oh my goodness. It is a tulip, um, a vintage tulip lamp with prisms. Uh, unfortunately, some of the prisms are missing. Um, but I understand that these could be somewhat easy to find online. So I am going to find the remainder of the ones that are missing and um, finish it off and uh, put them on there so that um, it will look just absolutely stunning. Um, and let me show you what it does. Oh, here's, here's the, the, um, the cord. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Here, I think it, you can get a better I should turn off the back lighting, but oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that is. And it is filthy at the moment. So I'm going to clean it up. And like I said, put the, and I'm going to put the, the remainder of the prisms, um, the little crystals hanging from it. Um, sadly, there wasn't another one, uh, but there was this one and I just, I thought this was so beautiful. And this is going to look so beautiful on an end table or wherever you put it. Cause oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. So have found that and we paid, I'm, one, I'm wanting to say, oh yes. Um, so it was 
listed at $20. Uh, it's heavy. Um, uh, it is on a marble base and uh, it was listed for $20, but it was um, half off the orange tags today. So we got it for $10. $10 and it is gorgeous oh my goodness it's so beautiful so grass and then the um, the crystal or uh, the glass shade and this little portion of glass down here and um, of course the prisms and they're so beautiful they're glass too and uh, then the marble base and it has this little toggle switch. So it is so beautiful. Okay, so we found that. And then I found this. It's Franciscan, it's Franciscan um, Interpace. And it is, I believe, the Shady Lane. Uh, and it we paid $3.99 for it, but again, half off so two dollars we paid two dollars for this and it is perfect there's no damage to it at all just just beautiful no damage to it at all look at that oh so exciting and oh my goodness look at this look at this so you know I love my crystal um, candle holders but this one is extra special because down here it says, I'm wanting to see if I can get it for you. Um, it is, oh my goodness, hold on one second. Let me see if I can. It is a vintage Val St. Lambert vintage Tiffany Val St. Lam Lambert crystal and I can't get it to focus properly uh, there we go Val St. Lambert Tiffany um, glass candlestick and we got it for $8 that and there's no damage to it absolutely beautiful gorgeous oh it's so stunning it's dirty at the moment but I'm going to clean it up and it will be beautiful so we found that um, moving on I found this which is not <laughs> really expensive um, or you know I mean I got it for a dollar but it was fun it's gonna be so fun for next Halloween just distilled vampire venom um, it's just cute it's cute I like this um, it's not a, a late like it's not a sticker um, it's it's actually printed on there so how cute is that I love it so that'll be so much fun for Halloween next year and moving on okay these are Libby glasses they're vintage Libby glasses. Um, this obviously is the American flag. Um, there are a few of these online, but, but this guy is very, very difficult to find. As a matter of fact, we could not find one online. Um, this is Uncle Sam and it is vintage and it is so cool it's so much fun look at this for fourth of july oh my goodness this guy is literally he is so difficult to find um and like i said we couldn't find one so we have one i'm so excited so we have that and this this guy we just fell in love with this is so cool um, look at the artwork on it. Um, he is metal. I believe this is cast iron and this is uh, obviously marble. Um, it, the marble does have a little bit of 
chipping or a, like a, a crack off of it. But I think that just makes it all the more interesting um, because it's a it's an art sculpture. He is so cool and a little dirty, so I will be cleaning him off. But how fun is that? That it, that is a really beautiful sculpture. I love it. And it's it the base is is super heavy too. You know, it's marble. Um, so very cool. And then this, you guys, you guys, look at this. This is from the uh, Canary Islands. It's a local painter. This is a, an oil painting and it's very, very small. But here, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in so that you can get a better view of it. Let's see if this works better. Look at how beautiful that is. I love this piece. Love it. This is so cool. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, it is vintage. It's got some age on it. I mean, look at that hanger. And this is, I guess, how, how much it was originally. And a little piece of tape. And just, um whoa okay so that is just beautiful isn't it i think that's gorgeous and then i i got one of these my, my husband um i couldn't smell it but my husband smelled it and he thought it was really um fun it's crackling fire logs i don't know um, but anyway, got that. And then this, look at how beautiful this is. It's a blue cobalt glass with this scene on it. Look at how cool, there's a person there. And just, to, I'm telling you, today was a day for art um, at the, the Salvation Army. Uh, I mean, just look at this. This is beautiful. It is um, a vintage cobalt blue drinking glass with white winter snow scene. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I can't get over it. This is so beautiful. So really pretty, really excited about that one. And then we found this. And I'm not quite sure who makes it. I mean, here's a stamp. Um, and it looks like Talavera, but I don't know if it is. Uh, it's from Puerto Vallarta, or it, it depicts a scene of Puerto Vallarta. And my husband and I actually went to this cathedral in Puerto Vallarta. It was really fun. Um, so really cool um just beautiful scene and we were thinking well this is just so cool even um if we don't sell it i mean we love puerto vallarta so um we will enjoy that uh and we paid 3.99 for it there's the tag um i don't know if i mentioned we paid a dollar 99 for the cobalt blue glass and we paid, gosh, how much did we pay for the violinist? Um, we paid uh, $6. No, $5.50. Can't do my maths. Um, $5.50. So, how cool is that? Um, and then I found this which is so beautiful, it's so pretty. It's fused glass, and it's by Lori Siebert um, for uh, Silvestri. Look at that. Um, here's, the, here's the tag on it. And 
it even has its original little sticker there for Silvestri. And it's, it was, um, again, $5.50. Got it, such a deal on that one. And look at how beautiful it is. Ah, I'm dropping my camera. Um, look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that pretty and it's it's got the teapot and, and a little cup of tea how fun is that it's so pretty I, I need to mention that there is a little bit of paint wear I believe or unless it was made a you know manufacturer defect on one of the petals or a cup no one of the petals maybe I don't know it, it doesn't really show, um, it, uh, you know, you can't really tell, really. Um, and the rest is in, in really good condition um, with no damage anywhere. But look at how pretty that is. I love it. It's so pretty and it does have a little bit of texture, like you can feel the little ridges and the little balls and all of that. You know, even the cup of tea, you can feel the ridges in it. It's really pretty, and the flower is indented, and this is raised. It's really fun. So, got that. And then, I picked this up, and I thought, initially I thought, oh, just some kid scribbled on it. But if you really look at it, it is a cast iron, an old-timey cast iron stove with a little pot of coffee and an iron, an old fashioned metal iron. Um, I'm not sure what might be up there, but uh, it's got the, the burners here. I don't know if you can see, see the burners. And um, the drawer or the little cabinet down below. And I'm getting a glare off my my lamps here, but um, that little box of firewood there. I mean, how fun is this? And the signature, that's the signature. I believe it says Stevenson. And I believe it says 1283, if I'm reading it correctly, I believe. Yes, I, it, I believe it says 83, and it appears to be hand-thrown down in the back. I don't know if you can tell, see? And the glazing is on the edge there. It starts on the edge. The back is just pottery, um, and then the remainder, everything else is glazed. It even has that Otagiri speckling. And then you can see that this line is a different color than the background color. And then the blue striping, I mean, it is so cool. Um, so yeah, I was excited to find this. One more thing I forgot. I forgot that we also found this. Look at this beauty. It is a Fenton. I believe it's called, is it a, a handkerchief vase um, because I looked it up and some people are calling it a ruffled vase if any of you know can you please let me know um, this has beautiful little flowers it looks like roses on the base there oh my gosh there are roses and it, it with leaves it's gorgeous it's gorgeous I think I'm gonna keep this one <laughs> but um, it is amber color and it's definitely Fenton. Um, I washed it, it was pretty manky in there. Um, but it has these the, this like pinched ruffles. I think it's a handkerchief something or other. So please let me know. Uh, I would really appreciate it. I, I, I just want to know what it's called just for my own um, ed education. Um, so anyway, Look at how gorgeous! Oh my gosh, and my husband is in love with it too. He's like, I don't think that's going anywhere. It's gonna be ours. 
Um, we just love it. It's so beautiful. So anyway, thought I would mention that. Look at even the edges are so, they're so beautiful because it looks like, it, it looks like a ribbon. It, it's just beautiful. Anyway, thought I'd share that one with you too because it's so gorgeous. So we just had a ball this evening. We just had so much fun at the Salvation Army um, finding these awesome finds. And I hope you enjoyed because we had so much fun, honestly, um, picking through and finding all these treasures uh, that we are just in love with. They're, look how gorgeous that is. Um, and then the Franciscan, I was so excited. I, um, I sold a, um, a GF Cole picture that was absolutely gorgeous. And boy, am I regretting selling it because, um, I ended up just falling in love with it. And, um, somebody else did too. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I'm excited to have this and, and put it on my hutch and um for you know because it, it has that rustic look and um anyway so uh I'll, I'll be putting it online anyway and if somebody else falls in love with it then they can have it too and then this gorgeous lady yeah oh, this is just so breathtakingly beautiful and it will be even more gorgeous once i find the new um prisms for it uh, well not new um but new to it um, and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you will subscribe. Uh, it will keep my channel going. And I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.